we knew that when the pandemic hit in the spring of 2020, that there would be a psychological fallout from this. If you think about all of the things that were hitting people, the uh, isolation and loneliness, fear of death, fear of loss of employment, fear of the disease itself, uh, these were all things that were bound to cause uh, psychological problems for many people. And previous pandemics had done exactly that, as had previous recessions, and we knew that we were heading for difficult economic times as well. So we knew we had to act, uh, and we knew that we had to act in collaboration with others. We couldn't do it on our own. And so we organised a summit, we did it jointly with our local authorities, and that all in turn led to this extraordinary uh, exercise in collaboration with communities, South London Listens, which engage with thousands of people across South London. Uh, and is now a collaboration between three mental health trusts, all the local authorities across South London, universities, schools, colleges, faith organisations, community groups. So South London Listens for me was all about what people were feeling during lockdown. It was the voice of the community. We had the COVID mutual aid um, groups and they, they were fantastic um, with the food banks and all, all of that but there was nowhere for them to sort of dump their feelings and but for me South London gave South London Listens gave that opportunity to hear people. So the campaign started with a listening campaign so we listened to 6,000 people across South London and basically asked the simple question of what was putting pressure on them and their family and their loved ones during the pandemic and we heard about all sorts of things from like very specific mental health issues so maybe issues with accessing services and not being able to get um, support that they need from the NHS and even wider things like the way that wages and like low income affects mental health or housing insecurity or um, insecure immigration status so we heard about all of these different stories and um, put all of those together and had a really wonderful summit in June 2020 in which we invited members of the community and also the council and the local mental health trusts and kind of spoke about all of these things that had come out through the listening and made some kind of clear recommendations to like clear asks to the decision makers to see what they could do to, to better improve mental health outcomes in South London. My name is Munira Nasruddin and I'm from PACT, Parent Community Together. Um, my role here is a parent organiser, supporting parents uh, with mental health and uh, other people from the community too. We are hoping to launch our BUL Hub soon, in this late June. Let's say, and as an example, a parent who is finding it very isolated, uh, they find it very difficult to communicate with others, so we'll try to let them join our groups you know, signpost them to other services in the local area, in, the, in Sadek. You know, talk to other parents like them who share with them and understand them and, and hopefully uh, build a relationship from there. It's amazing here in PACT. Parents help other parents and from there they develop to be parent leaders and, and step in as volunteers, go to events with us. It's, it's really, really good uh, network here. Hi, I'm Ellie Dimitri and I'm project manager for mental health at PACT. Um, so I've had this amazing opportunity through South London Listens to work on our wellbeing course with parents, um, which is called My Happiness, My Empowerment. Um, and it's co-designed and co-led by a group of amazing parents from PACT who have now named themselves the Mindful Mummers. I was uh, part of the um, sort of a uh, group of mums that actually uh, helped co-design uh, Mindful Mummers and that was just an, an ex amazing experience on itself, uh, just hearing other mums and then identifying myself within them and feeling like I'm not alone sort of thing, that was really impactful. 
South London Listens is an absolute wonderful programme. It's bringing together communities, civic organisations like the council, health organisations, and all what we want to do is work together to enable our communities to be stronger in their understanding of mental health, mental wellbeing and mental illness, and also to provide a support network collaboratively going forward for people who might find themselves struggling with their mental well-being.